All right. Well, we are live here at the MTN Philip Omondi Stadium. And as any convict would tell you, fresh out of jail, normally there are very few things that they desire. Number one, to have a good meal. Number two, to get back to winning ways. And that is the agenda for KCC Football Club right here when they go back in front of their own fans after a dismal uh, is a performance that they had against Luzira, the Maroons Football Club. Black Power is the team that is up next year for them. And boy, oh boy, must they find a result tonight or else the clamoring that was a little mute last weekend turns to full volume. Very good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the MTN Philip Omondi Arena for March Day 6 between KCC Football Club and Blacks Power, the new bees who also are in a turmoil of their own. It is a day where one must find a way to succeed. My name is Jermaine. Inspiration and leads a lot of confidence to actually get um, off um, to a flying start. Well, in case you were wondering why the game was not getting underway, precision is one of the things Salim Ashud prides himself in. So at exactly 4 p.m., the game between Blacks Power, who are visiting KCC, gets underway. KCC in the yellow and blue, while Blacks Power are in the orange and black. My name is Jermaine Egesa once again. John yeah. A man with a point to prove as well in this particular game as he gets the ball fed out here, looking for support coming in. 1-2, Sama Arafa tried to get the ball in, but the goalkeeper picked that one up easily. FC just uh, won their last game against Wendupuraka over, uh, that was uh, on Tuesday. Back so. into play now, here comes Bronson. Possession, but easily picked up by Bronson Subuga. Subuga Bronson squares the ball in, a chance here, and a shot and a save! Blocks power, teeing themselves up. Bounds, ricochets off and Subuga Bronson. Sets the ball up, Michael Siwu, looking for a twist and a turn, in space! Ooh, by what? Ooh, la la! He's not that bad. Kakonde! Oof. Just not on target, but uh, decent attempt. Decent by all means. Yeah, but he needed to test the goalkeeper. I just think that uh, for the KCC fans, uh, they, they've, they've really not seen much coming uh, from their side in terms of um, the attacking third. And I think that Kankone should have at least tried to force a save from the goalkeeper. Game on here, KCC. And uh, looks like Brian Majuega now going to the advanced position as a cross is in, and the goalkeeper. Ooh, that's a corner. Kakonde once again showing the threat that he poses in the air. But, uh, Bronson, it's somehow they really look narrow. Well, a nice break into the box area, and the referee waves it away. Disagrees and says, well, he came in charging, probably blaming it on uh, Fools Russian and Molly So just believes that probably should have been their moment. That was a very light touch, very light touch. He made quite a meal of it. I'm not oh, even yeah, sure yeah, yeah. he was clipped. Yeah, I think um, he, he, he should take a card for simulation there. With being Jermaine the Guesser. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you're calling yourself Baggio, and you can hardly dribble past a fly. Well, Kakonde puts in a shot here. He needs no extra tagline. He has Vendetta on his mind and Venom in his shorts here. And Tony, the goalkeeper here of Black's Power, will definitely attest to that in a very raspy... Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful one. And any goalkeeping coach, Stephen Billy Chikundu, will tell you the goalkeepers hate those shots. That is uh, Mujuzi Mustafa and uh, Dennis Guma comes into the middle to partner uh, Joffrey Waswa instead. So I guess it's simple tactics here. Just uh, try to give the team a little bit of more balance, which the team lacked in the first half. Well, second half getting underway and a straight shot! Kakonde! But it will not count. It will not count. The flag already coming in. And Kakonde had strayed offside. But oh my, oh my, Hussein Mbalangu from a court to a raincoat and still the same intensity and fury. Rightly so with his defense. That was an atrocity in defense. Yeah, definitely. That was not good defending from his side. Just look at that. Again, you look at Baden, just leaves the man to go in. And, but there was no offside. Look at that shot. That, that was a legitimate goal. Now, again, we see again 
the assistant referee getting the calls wrong. That was a genuinely good goal for Kankonde. He's been denied what should have been his uh, opening up of the account. And that cannot be a, an offside. Oh, how unfortunate he is. And now these are the kind of situations that... He was offside. And yet he was onside, according to the replays. But now he gets another chance. And this time, slightly teed away. And some very good defending from Ahmed Amayo denying him. But KCC have their tails wagging. So much so that the fans have moved from the shelter of the rain to brave the rain and to witness what they sense is blood about to flow. Now to Brian Majueka in position. Squares the ball through. Looking for a touch here. One, two. Squaring the ball in and trying to cover out some space. And they will not be denied. They will not be denied. That dark horse, Mr. Cook the Sauce, Rogers Mato, delivers the goods. That's more like it uh, for KCC and that's definitely what we've been talking about throughout the game. And you're looking at the first half performance, you didn't see them really flow the way they are doing right now. And I guess uh, the adjustments that have been made have uh, given the team a leap because just having uh, Moses Weiss come in and drop players off and then Alan Okello having that space right outside and just look at that. Poor defending you could say coming in uh, from uh, Black Power. But the kind of execution coming in from Alan O'Kell and his teammates has um, really looked beautiful there. And good play coming in, the one-two and uh, the opening. Brilliant play coming in from KCC. And now you can get a feeling that um, this uh, Black Spire team are really headed uh, for the guillotine. The little magician Alan O'Kello, Mr. Cook, the sauce, the dark horse. Trying to ensure that they do not give um, Black Spire an easy chance. Good shot! Goalkeeper fumbles there. Bronson trying to chase that one through. The referee says, uh, oh, there was an offside there. Alex. Yeah, clearly. She got that one right. No question about it that they attempt to get to the rebound. Um, they had already uh, straight offside there. The Black Power players there. Good goal. Not give um, Black Spire an, an easy chance. Good shot! Goalkeeper fumbles there. Bronson trying to chase that one through. The referee says, uh, was an offside there. Alex. Yeah, clearly. She got that one right. No question about it that they attempt to get to the rebound. Um, they had already a uh, straight offside there. The Black Power players there. Good call by um, Alex there. Passes on. The little magician, Alan Okello. Touch one, two. Fires a shot. Alan Okello. My word. Would you believe that? Is a once in a lifetime goal. Alan Okello, what are you doing to Hearts right here? That could give you a feat. That could raise your temperature. That could stop Hearts in an instant. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. But of course, again, I think you just saw it's a replica of the first goal that they scored. The one two between Alan Okello and, of course, uh, Mato. And then the way this Black Spar team, they just keep peeling off, they just keep dropping off and allowing Kelsey to see the space and shoots it with his weaker foot and it still just gets into the back of the net. That was a very good play coming in from KCC. And like I said earlier on, that if you continue peeling off like the way Black Spar are doing and allowing KCC to produce those one-twos, creating openings but as he continues to build his uh, fitness and his uh, momentum. Now Kakonde could have a chance here, but the goalkeeper Tony Subuka. Subuka tries to create space and that's a free kick. Foul here. And a free kick in a potentially good area for a certain Michael Siwu to finally get his beat into the game. Split second decision there. Bronson Suga actually getting uh, the job done right. Just knew exactly what to do. I don't think he was actually going to catch that ball, but knew that should he let a leg land, he would be brought down and that would be a free kick in a potentially good position for him. Yeah, he clearly knew what he was doing there, Bronson and Suga. He knew that he had to commit the man. And um, once he dribbled past him, the only option that Joffrey Wasser would have would be to foul him. And this is a very good opportunity. But you must feel for Coach um, Balangu here, who said and um, the way his team played in the first half and in containing KCC, I guess it, it wrote a lot on the fact that uh, KCC were not playing well, as opposed to them really playing pretty well. Um, uh, that's Black's power. Once KCC stepped on um, on the accelerator and started playing better and passing the ball better and quicker, it seems like his team just couldn't cope. 
but you must so feel for him that um, his team, his players have um, not looked um, in any way organized in the second half and basic, basic errors that have been committed defensively, yet we think that we would have done a lot better there. Two options here, Michael Sewu with the right, Bronson Subuga with the left foot, and it looks like it will be poor one. Taken there by Michael Siwu. Idea wasn't bad, but maybe the execution is not that fair. Well, for the moment, it opens up a potential counter attack here for KCC Football Club as they arrive in droves trying to streak the ball forward. Now, managed to avert the danger momentarily. Gas, step over, step over, dazzle, tease, pound, cross, ball brought in. It just goes over the line. Yes, it was overplayed there. You feel that uh, Majuga should have uh, sized sized up his cross better and uh, played it um, straight to where Kankonde was because he was in with his size and height and it's probably going to be a bit of a problem for most defenders here on the bench over Black's power and player brought down referee points to the spot would you deny them the opportunity looks like Alan Okello wants to take the responsibility himself but there were no two ways about it yeah, definitely. You get that was caught with your hand in the cookie jar, you will pay the price. Penalty. That, that was really careless play coming in now from Blacksburg. And I, I guess that's a reason why you can see that look on the face of uh, what you said in Balangu. That it was a uh, very careless play by Ahmed Amayo tangling with uh, their forward. Because always the forward will get the advantage. He wants to take it. Alan Okello! Cold blooded. Yeah. Clinical, surgical precision. Goal number three, KCC. You forgot him. He's back. Yeah, he's, how he's back. So that's a message probably to the fans that have been um, mocking the team. I think it seems to suggest it to them that they need to keep a little mum. But now that means that it's curtains are for this uh, black spar side. Consummate performance here from KCC in the second half. This is the KCC of the old. This is the KCC that the fans have been looking forward to. For the moment, they are delivering, but look at that for a penalty. No frills, well no trims and whistles, no bells or anything. Just a man doing his job. Exactly, and he places it quite far from the goalkeeper that even if the goalkeeper had read the direction of the ball, the ball had been placed so far from him. Here. It doesn't look like it's happening, but now there's a breakaway here. Coming in from Michael Siwu. If he can pick the right cross. And uh, Bronson Subuga. Written in the stars. Undeniable. It just had to be Bronson Subuga. Black power. Pull back one. Well, the thing is that you could see that KCC were very casual and lazy in when they lost that possession. You looked at uh, Joffrey Wasser when they lost the ball there and the, 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 the running just to retreat to get back into position was just not good enough and gave um, Bright, uh, rather Black Spire that opportunity, that opening from which uh, they've capitalized to score that, that goal. And I, I think those are some of the small, small things that you feel that um, the players and teams um, tend to get complacent and in the end, they end up getting punished. Could it be a revival and, in uh, Julius Poloto, who again continues um, to build up fitness? Well, a chance coming up! Ah! <laughs> Mr. Cook, the sauce! Undisputable! The match winner here! Can his influence be denied? Rogers Mato! The excellence of execution. That's what goals do. When you do have them, it's invigorating, it's revitalizing, it's energizing. And that energy is what they will carry into March Day 7 as the referee brings a close to this particular encounter here between KCC and Black's Power. For Black's Power, there will be questions on where to go next. But for Mr. Cook, the sauce, Rogers Mato, it's been a splendid performance. Two goals to the good, a penalty that he earned, and he has performed in a masterclass. Exchange of pleasantries here between Molevie Kwaso and Hussein Balangu. Probably similar situation that they both had coming into this game, and a hug there.
but for what he has vindicated, none more so than by this man, the little magician Alan Okello, who also has a praise to his name in a very fine performance that KCC turned the screws, lit up the fireworks, and let the MTN Filippo Mondi Stadium know that the Casasiro boys are still in the goods. Full time at the MTN.